what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about scream 7 in this video here again today so we're going to be going over this report from variety and going over a post from nev campbell who gave us our first teaser poster for the film but we have an official release date for scream 7 i'll talk about why this makes the most sense from my perspective and it's a perspective that a lot of you share too if you're someone who's just monitoring the release window of 2025 so ghostface will kill again scream 7 the latest entry in the long-running horror franchise will finally hit theaters on february February 27th, 2026. After enduring production delays, creative overhauls, and cast shakeups, the announcement was made on social media by Nev Campbell, who's returning to the series after sitting out the sixth installment due to a salary dispute, and Kevin Williamson, the creator of the series and the director of the sequel. The film has the date to itself. No other major releases are slated for premiere against the Scream sequel. The following weekend, we'll see the release of The Cat in the Hat and Disney and Pixar's Hoppers, both of which are aimed at family crowds. Off-screen drama has swirled around Scream 7 ever since the project was announced. Melissa Barrera, who starred in the previous two films, was fired from the sequel last year over comments she made on social media. Jenna Ortega, who starred with Barrera, had dropped out of the film due to her shooting schedule with Netflix Wednesday. Christopher Landon, the director, dropped out December 2023, calling it a dream that turned into a nightmare. He was replaced as a director by Kevin Williamson. Production was also held up due to the SAG after and WGA strikes. Paramount Pictures will distribute the film, which Spyglass Media is producing. After a lull following the 2011 release of Scream 4, the franchise was successfully rebooted in 2022 Scream and 2023's Scream 6, both of which were directed by Radio Silence. Guy Busick, a staple of the series reboots, will write Scream 7. Project X Entertainment, Jane Vanderbilt, William Chirac, and Paul Neenstein are producing with Radio Silence serving as executive producers. So, the February 2026 release, not a shock. But before I go into that, Nev Campbell put this out on Instagram making the announcement. She said it's going to be a killer 2026, hashtag Scream 7, revealing that it's coming out February 27th of 2026. Again, this is our first teaser poster of the film. Now, for those who have already started commenting, yes, I get it. it's frustrating for some people. I get it. I get where you're coming from. You're not wrong to be upset about the film happening. However, I will say that this is not any more uncommon than what we saw with Screen 5. Granted, there were other circumstances in the mix with Screen 5, which had its entire story leaked before they even started filming. But Screen 5 itself, well, actually, Screen 5 had its release delayed. Well, just like Scream 7, I guess you could say. Because Scream 5 was supposed to come out in 2021, and then they actually announced a 2022 release. So announcing a, a release that's a year away, or even over a year away at this point, isn't that out of the out of the ballpark for Scream. Not when you just did it with Scream 5. And if we're being honest, a lot of you who talk to me about this trying to figure out how can this even be a box office success going into 2025 i would have a lot of conversations with some of you telling you guys i don't think it would be possible for scream 7 to be a box office success on several different weekends in 2025 because there's so many things coming out in 2025 that have been pushed into that year supposed to come out this year or even 2023 and now they're all crowded into 2025 i was going over with you all how it's crowded and they're likely going to give us a late 2025 release the week before avatar but even that isn't really that smart because avatar would just obliterate it out of the water the week after and every week following and then scream 7 would just get lost in the dust or get left in the dust it, it was either going to be that or i was proposing early 2026 and sure enough that's what we're getting we're getting an early 2026 release like the article points out there's not a lot of competition around it so from just using my common sense and again just being fair and reasonable scream 7 as it stands right now without knowing anything else shouldn't have a problem being a success if it is well marketed like scream 5 and scream 6 if the production cost isn't something dramatic and if it just leans on appealing to the gen z audience that it's lost from screen five and six if you can somehow bring in a new a new pair of gen z fans that will want to see scream seven that's how you make up for the loss of what you have from five and six and people who are not going to engage with seven because it doesn't have Jenna ortega more specifically and also just because it has nothing to do with the core four story that was set up in screen five and six other than of course the story is still likely going to remain canon but we're not focusing on them the release date, again, being in 2026, isn't all that shocking when you consider how crowded 2025 is. 
I suspect that going off of how every reputable trade came out of the woodwork reporting on this, there's so much other things that these trades likely know because notice as soon as Campbell's post went up, articles were already being published. It's like within 10 or five minutes of this post, Variety is reporting, Bloody Disgusting is reporting, The Hollywood Reporter is reporting. All of this stuff, again, news tends to be under embargo. News tends to be under embargo. I myself, if you watch my Twitter, I'll even put the screenshot here. I was tipped off to the news a few minutes before it even dropped. Some news like that is just embargoed. All the trades will write up these reports. I've known this because of my experience when writing for one of these reputable trades. Not as big as Variety and The Hollywood Reporter, but still reputable. They will sit on news and then they will publish it when an embargo lifts. This happens with season renewals. This happens with a lot of different things that go into series cancellations. So many things can be embargoed. And the fact that there were already reports on it shows you how this is all like an executed relationship <laughs> between the trades, the studios, and who knows what else they already know that they're just waiting to drop, especially going off of the fact that the Hollywood Reporter's article ends with more to come, not that they just aren't ending it because obviously there's going to be more news, but they likely know more about Scream 7 and just need to wait for the next embargo to lift, where we'll probably find out some of the cast members, who's going to be starring as Sydney's children. Maybe we'll get some more specific plot details. I get where everyone is coming from with the frustration towards the project. I get it. But going to be fair with the frustration the same way I'm going to be fair with the box office. If nothing else comes out that weekend, they are doing everything they should be doing to be a success. Because if it comes out that weekend and there's nothing else around it, and then the following weekend, if people are not interested in the cat in the hat and all of that stuff, if Scream 7 is able to garner public interest and it's able to garner critical praise before it even releases or even after that, then it's going to be a hit. It's probably not going to make as much as five and six. I can give you that. I could see this film ending its theatrical run at least with 120 million plus at the box office. I'll, I'll be fair and reasonable. Again, I don't want to be delusional. I'll, I'll be fair and reasonable. The marketing strategy is going to be all around Ghostface as it was with five and six. Let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. So let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.